Okay, so in Take Modeling to Another Dimension, the last thing that we're working on is a coffee mug, which is much like the one you can see here. So I'm going to kind of walk you through some basic ideas. There's more than one way to do this, obviously. This is just the way that I did it, so that if you're really stuck, you can go ahead and try and uh, emulate that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new SketchUp window. Again, I like the white background, so I use the bigger one, even though it's probably bigger than I need. I'm going to draw a circle, and in this case, I've actually pulled out my handy-dandy ruler, and I happen to have a soda can, so I'm kind of just using that as a scale guide. And so it looks like this is about two inches in diameter, so it would be about two and a half inches in diameter for a coffee, well, more like three for a coffee cup, which would mean a radius of one and a half. So for my radius, I'm just going to type 1.5. I'm going to hit enter and notice it's really tiny, so I have to zoom way in. And then I'm going to look and pull it up. And again, I'm using my ruler, and I'm just kind of going to estimate and say it's about five inches up. I'm going to pull that to five, and we're just kind of estimating. And you'll notice it actually kind of looks a little tall rather than wide, but that's okay. So for this purpose, we are going to go up to camera and come down to the standard views, and we're going to go look at the top view. And the reason I want the top view is that I have to make a circle that is similar to the circle that's already there, but is exactly the same size but you know half inch in or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this handy dandy little tool right here which is called the offset tool which I'm trying to get the little hand to come up but it doesn't want to at the moment. There it is, offset. So if I click the original, I'm gonna zoom in, if I click the original shape and then I move my mouse I can offset it. Well I want to leave like let's say 0.25 of an inch or a quarter of an inch just so it's got a thicker lip on it. It's a coffee cup and it's a representation of a mug is all I'm doing. So I'm just going to use my mouse and rotate and then I'm going to push that center cylinder down um, and I made the whole thing five so we'll go 4.5 down. And when I rotate back you can see there's a bottom to it. It doesn't just disappear. It actually has a flat bottom to it. Now, the other piece that we need for this, and I'm going to go back to my camera and my ISO view because I like my ISO view, um, is I need a handle. So there's a multiple ways you can do the handle. I found that the easiest way for me was to use a two-point arc. And so if I click and I click, then I can maneuver my arc out to about where I want it, and then again I'm going to go get my offset tool, click on the arc, and pull in slightly, let's see, three sixteenths, there's a quarter of an inch, so that's probably about right. Now you'll notice it's still hollow, it's just two lines, so I'm going to use my drawing, my little uh, pencil here, and I'm going to finish that. Escape. So I did one and it, for some reason it wanted to do the other one so I just hit escape so I could do the other one there. So now the um, the arc that I made is actually, you can see, now it's actually ready to be push-pulled. So now I can push-pull it by, again, I can do a quarter of an inch and zoom out and you can see it mostly looks like a coffee cup. It's a little off, you can see over here. And we can try moving that around to try and get it more the way we want it. So we can rotate it. Come here. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Escape. So let's see if I can grab the... Yeah. Oh, there it is. Nope. So what I want is I want that centerpiece on face. There we go. 
nope, that's so not what I've <laughs> Yeah, that's an interesting look. All right, so you get the general idea. And it's always a control Z to undo things. You can get your handle in there. And if you decide you don't like it, you can always take it off and try another one, which you might want to do. But it's a one way that you can put a handle on there and kind of get some idea of how that works. Um, usually it works better if you are, so I'm going to see if I can just delete this entire thing. Obviously it doesn't want to be deleted. It's all stuck together on there. So it's a little bit easier if you're actually keeping your lines at the correct angles when you do this. It makes a little bit more sense for your handle. But you get the general gist of how that works. So that's the really quick and dirty way for making a mug.